G'day guys, welcome to Yeah Now Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I just thought we'd do a simple get ready with me. I've got a ton of videos that I wanted to do and I needed to do my makeup anyway, so I thought, you know what? If I do my makeup with things that are still currently available in store now, most of them are drugstore, um, and I can tell you what I feel about them and, you know, I might be able to help you out that way. I'm doing my makeup anyway, so um, if I can get this video out there and um, not waste any more time, hopefully I'll get those other videos done today as well. I've got the shortest amount of time possible to be able to do all these videos, and um, anyway, let's just get into the video. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, as you can see, I'm having a really bad hair day. I've just thrown it up. It's just a regular mum ponytail. Um, I will get my tassel out of the way and let's put some cat ears on just to make sure that I don't get any foundation in my hair. When I do put it on, I don't know which foundation I'm going to wear today. I'm currently using three of them and whilst one of them gives me some sort of like dewy sort of look, um, it's not the best shade match for me, whereas the one that I think is my perfect shade match is a little bit more drying and I have to go a little bit heavier on it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some moisturiser on and I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion, which is phenomenal. I've got a mark here. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. I've got a mark here on where I've been using it. Um, my partner brought me this bottle in October last year, so um, we're nearly coming up to 12 months. And, I mean, I've used a little bit more since, so the, the line's probably about, you know, a little bit lower than that. But if I look at it, I would say I've used half a bottle in 12 months. Let's just say 11. I've used half a bottle in 11 months. And um, the first couple of months I was using this morning and night. Um, so there's definitely value for money. I can't remember how much this guy was worth, but... If I remember, I'll leave the information down there for you. Anyway, I love this for dry skin. Phenomenal. Soaks in really, really well. Doesn't leave that sticky, sort of disgusting, slimy residue. Fantastic. I use a, um, a serum underneath this. Still perfect. Um, I've only... I've kicked this back to using it once a day. I don't need to use it any more than that. Um, but you could. So anyway, let's just going to start with this. You usually only need one one pump, sorry I already did that off screen, but I'm actually going to give it just a pump and a half because I want to bring it a little bit down my neck as well, so I would normally do this step off camera, so anyway. What I like about this is it's, it's non-scented, I even put it over my lips, you know, whatever. Um, I actually find that it helps remove the, um, if you moisturise your lips or lip balm your lips before you do your foundation, it makes it easier to get the foundation off your lips when you want to put your lipstick on, because I don't like putting lipstick over um, foundation, so, yeah. Alright, so, I am going to use, not a drugstore primer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover RX, or Hangover X, whatever they call it, um... Proactive Nourishing Replenishing Face Primer. I'm going to use that today. In fact, I think that I'm running out of this, which is really a shame because the other primer that I've got is okay, um, but it's not this, and I really, really like this one. So I'm using this one um, today instead of the other one because I am going to use the foundation that... Um, needs a little bit of help moisture wise that makes me look a little bit drier um I really would prefer it um, because of the the color I just don't want to be spending all this extra time having to color correct my face with bronzers and stuff like that so I'm going to go with the one that works best for me color wise not necessarily um you know dewy wise so just a little bit more here I think hmm I love the smell of this it's like it's like coconut, but like a dessert coconut, not like that fake tanning lotion. I mean, well, it's not fake tanning lotion, that fake coconut smell in tanning lotion. So I really, really enjoy this, and I'm going to be so sad when it's gone, because to be honest with you, I really don't like the price of it, um, because I'm a tight ass. So, all right. So, the foundation I will show you that I really like to use, and in fact, I think that it's actually getting discontinued or is discontinued in Australia, is the L'Oreal Paris... The L'Oreal Paris 
24 hour infallible pro glow um, I love this but I I don't love the shade that I brought which is the lightest one which is classic ivory um, if I had I know it seems like it's really pale but it's got really really pinky peachy tones and um, I, I'm, at the moment I'm leaning a little bit more towards neutral um, uh, just neutral. I can sort of pull off the neutral or cool tone, but yeah, we're not using that one today. We are going to use the the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Meh, this one here. So I'm using the shade True Ivory number three. Let's give that a little bit of a shake root, and I'm going to be using it with an Alice sponge. I don't use brushes, at least not right now. Although you know what I really want to get. I'm waiting until October and I'll be devastated if I can't get it because actually to be honest with you in Australia I don't know whether I'm eligible to get it like I just don't know enough about it I've really got to do some research I want to get the um, it cosmetics like kind of like that love heart brush that they bring out for um I think it's um I think it's cancer foundation they bring it out every October I really want that I loved the look of last year's one and I just I definitely want it I'm going to give a good pump see how we go with just one pump and just dab that see how we go with that should be right okay wipe the rest off with that I haven't used any other brushes since I got this Ella. Sorry, I haven't used any other sponges since I got this Ella sponge. I was using the Eco Tools ones, which no, I was using the was it Eco Tools? Yeah, I was using the Eco Tool one before this. Look at me fumbling already. Um, and don't get me wrong, I really did love that, and I still do. Um, it's still it's still in my stash. Um, but I have just loved this one absolutely loved it and I have another one which is a bonus that's what I liked about it actually it came in a two pack um, so I've got a backup for when this one dies this one needs a clean I mean I, I clean my sponges every single time I use them but I like to do like a really really good intense clean every now and then as well but I clean them out after every use just to make sure that there's no nasties in there. I don't really have a problem with acne, but um, mm, I don't want to have a problem with acne either. So, it's not looking too bad. Um, I actually don't class this as full coverage. I would say that this is um, a medium. I'm actually going to put a little bit more in some of the areas. I don't know what it is, but I really don't like my freckles that much. I mean, I don't mind them showing like just a little bit, but... I don't know, I just, I just don't. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on in just those areas there that I definitely want to build up a little bit. And I mean, I don't think I would need to use so much if I did use a brush, but every brush that I've used so far um, leaves me looking streaky. So... I just couldn't be bothered to be honest with you, but I really do want to try that is it cosmetics um, brush and I'm hoping that it changes my mind. So alright, I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. So I don't know if I look pale to you, but to be honest with you, both those um, foundations that I was talking to you about, neither one of them is really like my perfect shade, but this one I prefer just a little bit better. I don't know, once I add everything else on there, it just seems to blend better. It also looks better in natural light for me. So, that's that. We're going to move on to concealer. And there's only one brand of concealer that I use um, at the moment, although... There is another one that I'm liking. I just don't know what I've done with it. I'm currently using the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind one. I love that. Absolutely love it. I just I want another shade, a lighter shade. 
Um, and the Maybelline Fit Me one I've got as well. And that's the shade that I want, but I want it in this formula. Because although they're similar, this one's still better. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's... N I don't believe that these are the same formula. I believe that there's something different about this one. I love the shade, but I love the formula of this one better. So I'm going to get this one out, and I'm going to put this one under my eyes, because it just seems to perform under my eyes a little bit better than the other one. And I might use the other one. Actually, this one's also good for concealing those freckles that I was telling you about that I really don't like showing too much so that one i love for under the eyes in fact i actually love this instant age rewind one for um over the eyes as well as like a um an, an eyelid primer because i've not had much luck with eyelid primers if you guys have watched any of my videos <laughs> you'll be able to see um mm, yeah no nah. so i like to use that under the lid and on the lid and I generally, I will have to set it as well, especially under the lid, um, because I have tons, <clears throat> gee, my voice, I have tons of little fine lines. I always have, um, I was a tomboy growing up. In fact, I still partially am a tomboy. And, um, you know, I never really cared about skincare or anything like that. Um, whether it was sunscreen, whether it was moisturizer, I was rough around the edges, um, you know, and... So I do have a lot of fine lines. I didn't look after my skin when I was younger and I'm paying the ultimate price for it now, but we work with what we've got. So I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Fit Me one and I'm going to put that in my other areas that I want to lighten up just a little bit. Yes, just a little bit more, which is there, just a little bit there. And... I do like to lighten up my upper lip just a little bit. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? And just a little bit there. There we go. That should do it. I think that's a little bit better. All right, moving on. What are we gonna do? Ah, oh, we're gonna powder, all right. One sec, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm going to use Maybelline again. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. So, this bad boy here, and brushes, did I bring that? Aha, my brushes. I am just going to use a foundation brush because I'm really only looking to sort of set my eyes um, in a few other places. Nothing too much. I'm not going to bake because I don't want to be a crusty mummy. So I'm just going to pat out some of those lines. And excuse me while I pull a stupid face. I was watching back some of my videos the other day while I was editing and, and stuff and I realized that when I forget I just start randomly humming like when I forget I'm recording I just start randomly humming and I'm like I don't even know what I'm humming like where did I hear it I don't know it's funny I think it's funny anyway Now, that's pretty much it. Like, I can't, I, I can't put too much powder on my face. Um, it just doesn't work. And I mean, I'm still gonna crease. There's no doubt about it. I haven't come across that special formula yet. But it is what it is, and I'm working with what I've got. We are going to bronze now, and I'm, I'm gonna do a mixture of two different bronzers, um, which I usually do. I'm going to do this uh, Body Shop um, Honey Bronze. 
that I've got and I love this but it is really really subtle so I just like the tone of this one um, so I'm just gonna start um, sculpting a little bit with this one kind of like contouring as well as bronzing more like contouring to be honest with you but you know you'll see just a little bit just a little bit of life back into me Dust away my <laughs> double chin might actually bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, I know. I'm putting it over my nose. I don't know. I just like it. I don't like the whole um, uh, blush over the nose, but the leftover bronzer. I don't know. So just a little bit there. Do you know what I mean? How it's it's really subtle. I mean, I don't know if you can actually see it on me. But I like to do that and then I like to go in with the uh, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in bronzer, so I don't know. Now I left the lid off this for uh, like two days just to get rid of like that pungent smell. If you don't like that smell, um, it's really, really strong and I mean I can still smell it, but nowhere near as bad. So just gently going to put a bit of this on pretty aggressively. Now the... Um, Body Shop one that I was just using was matte. This one's got a little bit of a sheen to it, which I don't mind. So, just don't want to overdo it. But when I spray all of this well as well, it's going to sort of just like almost melt into itself as well. So I'm not too, I'm not too worried. Alright. Bronzer's done. Going on to blush. And today I'm going to use the Rimmel London Maxi Blush in the colour Exposed. Ugh. Which is gorgeous. I don't know what colour to describe this other than a pinky mauve. Like a muted pinky mauve. I don't know. But I really, really, really like this. So I'm going to put this one on. Just going to try and be gentle and... Don't want to end up looking like an Annabelle doll. I have a tendency of doing that to myself though. And I like to bring mine up if you haven't noticed. Not all the way up, but I do like to bring it up to the temples a little bit. And I just need to mute that bit out a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, I love blush, but I don't want to look like a doll. Um, I just like that natural flush. Look, yeah, maybe just a little bit higher there. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. All right, so we are going to move on to... I might do highlighter and then move on to my brows. I, I avoid my brows like the plague. Um, hmm... Yes. Alright, alright, we're going to go on to highlighter and today I'm going to use the Becca Opal. I've got this one in the little, like, little mini in the macaron set, so um, I don't know if you could see that, but she's beautiful, so um, she'll give her a little swatch, see if you can sort of see that for yourself. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Look, it's beautiful, that's all. I don't know how well you can see that. But I love it, um, especially once it's on the skin. So we're going to do that now. Where's my trusty brush? Oh, it's an e.l.f. I'm using an e.l.f. powder brush. Now, I couldn't show you all the other brushes because they're just like $2 shop ones. I really need some good brushes. I don't have. I mean, with the exception of a few, like this um, this e.l.f. brush, this Real Techniques one, and a few of the um, Eco Tool ones, and one wet and wild brush the rest of them are just two dollar shop ones and they do the job but i really do need to invest in some nicer brushes so let's get this on now i'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this on camera because 
I'm not good at doing that, you know, <laughs> that angle where when you put it on, like, you know, all these other people on YouTube, they're like, oh, oh my god, I, I don't know, I, doesn't matter what angle I'm on, I just can't seem to, um, to pull that off, so, we'll see. Everything takes practice, I guess. I'm going to put a little bit of that down my nose and actually do that bit by finger. Hmm, I really like that. Okie dokie, I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. I enjoy it. So, moving on, what are we going to do? We're going to do brows. Mm. Alright, so, my two favourite products for brows, actually I've got three favourite products now, I'll show you them all, but I use the, currently I use the e.l.f. retractable pencil, and um, I sort of sculpt out my brows like that. I don't do like Instagram brows. I like try and keep it as natural as possible, but I don't have a tail, not really. So um, when I'm in sunlight, half of my eyebrows, the, the, the ends of my eyebrows, they sort of disappear. Like they kind of look blonde in sunlight. So it just looks like I've got these, you know, two really short brows at the front, you know, two little caterpillars, two little caterpillars. So and then I'll come in with something like this um, L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I've been talking for so long. I'm kind of puffed, slow down. Um, I like to use this just to fill it in like from halfway down to the end. And if I'm not using this one, then I'll be using the Essence Make Me Brow. But I do like the L'Oreal one just a fraction better, the color, than I do the Essence plus the size difference. So we're gonna start off with just brushing through the brows at the moment. Try and make some sort of shape and try not to go too nuts. Right, I'm going to use my own little mirror for this one, guys. This is very difficult for me, so please excuse me. I'm definitely not great at um, doing brows, but I do just want the illusion of having brows, you know what I mean, without like, oh my god, look how well her brows are sculpted. I don't want you to pay that much attention. I don't, I don't, I'm not going on TV or anything. Well, actually, I kind of am, aren't I? But not like that, you know, shut up, Tanya. Oh my God. See, do you see me fumbling? Anyway, let's just make a tail. A little bit there. And then I come in with this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Take the excess off the tip. And I pretty much just go from like the middle-ish. And I also very, very lightly just try and get some definition to those eyebrow hairs at the end. Um, nothing too extreme, just trying to give the illusion that I indeed have a full-ish eyebrow without being extreme. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I don't know if you notice the difference, but that's what I'm doing. All right, so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? Hmm, actually, you know what? First I want to give just a little bit of a spray. I'm going to use my Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea just to get rid of that powdery, you know, sort of look. So, excuse me. When I first got this, um, I wasn't sure I liked the smell. It smelled a bit funky. And, um, I don't mind me, I'm just going to pat in a few areas just to help blend it. I thought this might actually lift some of my makeup when I first did this and it didn't and I love it. And I think it also helps that glow so mm. anyway when I first got this I didn't like the smell the cucumber one and I'm like I should have gone with the lavender but it's actually grown on me and I really love this I'm definitely gonna get some more I want to get all of them now so um I don't it doesn't do anything to sort of like make the longevity of my makeup but I love to get rid of that powdery residue might just use it just a little bit more, just 
just around the mouth area. Yeah, that's that's better. Um, I use something else for the longevity of my makeup, and um, it's also not my favourite thing, but I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so. Brows done. Now, eyes. I am going to use this. Now, I don't know how new this is, but I do know that they've brought in new shades, and I'm not sure whether this is actually one of the new shades. And I'm going to be using the, what are you, the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24-Hour Metal Eyeshadow um, in, what color are you? Inked in pink, number 55. So it's this pink beauty here. Um, Look. I've stuck my finger in these many times when I was swatching them in stores and I was just like, oh, this is probably going to like crease in my eyes and because uh, I've got hooded and deep set eyes and everything creases, I can't, mm. And um, I've watched a lot of uh, reviews and those reviews say that they don't crease off. I'll, I'll buy one. I'll buy one that's so sort of light that it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and I brought the pink one, and I've got to say, it doesn't crease. Um, if you're using it the way that I was using it, 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 it didn't crease. So I just sort of grabbed a little bit. It's kind of like, well, it is kind of like a cream. And I'm literally just going to dab it all over my eye. Um, I don't know whether these can be built up or not, to be honest with you. The one that I've got, this pink one, isn't extreme. Um, it just gives a nice little tint to the eyes. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit higher than my mono lid, which is the lid that disappears, <laughs> it blinks, I guess. I think it's the mono lid, is it the mono lid? Anyway, I'm going to bring it just a little bit higher either way, just so you can see that colour. And it is, it's, it's very subtle and it doesn't really, it doesn't really build up. And I did try and use it with a brush, and um, I much prefer using my finger than anything else, which I guess is a little bit inconvenient, but you do whatever works. So I'm going to do this side now. Oh, I need to get rid of that build-up of concealer first. There we go. Uh, you know what I hate? Every time I put on foundation, straight away, I'll have an itchy nose. I never get itchy noses, but as soon as I have foundation, my inner nostrils... I just want to, ah, mmm, <laughs> I hate it. I don't know how long this would last, this stuff, before it dries up in the pot. Um, I'm just going to have to take it by day and, and see whether it's actually worth it or not. But I am enjoying it while I'm using it, something different. And, um, yeah, actually, a little, a little bit more. Just up here. Hmm. There we go. I'm thinking about getting some more of this, like in a, a colour that would be more... What's the word I'm looking for? Not aggressive, like vibrant. Yes, that's the word. In a colour that would be more vibrant. Now, I'm going to take... I actually want this to dry just a little bit because I don't want any sort of patchiness when I put shades over the top of it. So I'm going to get my ColourPop Fame palette. Love this thing. And I'm only going to steal one or two shades out of this. Which brush am I going to use? Um, I'm going to use my Eco Tools blending brush. So I'm going to take the shade hmm, Clubhouse, which is this one down here. It's sort of like, uh, I don't know. It looks it looks grey in the pan to be honest with you, but um, let me see if I can swatch it for you guys. don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Yeah, it's got, it's, it's got purple tones in it. So what's that like a Definitely got purple tones to it anyway, so that, that's what we're going with. We're going to go with Clubhouse, and I'm just going to start by dabbing it in the inner corner here. Uh, and I'm going to put it all over the lid, but I just wanted to start it there because I just find that it's, it's easier to blend when I start it in the inner corner. So I'm just going to blend that up. So when I'm looking at you guys, I can see the 
eyeshadow above the eye. I don't want it to touch my eyebrows though. I really don't like that look, but I am going to blend that out soon once I do this eye. This is really just a rough sort of... I'm not being perfect. I'm not going anywhere. This is sort of like what I would do if I was just... I don't know. If I was going out for dinner or something like that and I didn't want to be like snatched, but I did want to make an effort, you know what I mean? Like, I want to feel nice. I don't want to look like, you know, I've just got out of bed and thrown a hoodie on. So, this is me sort of like making a little bit of an effort, but not like, look at me! So, alright, um, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go with this sort of cream white colour here, centre stage, I think it is. Yeah, centre stage. And I'm going to use that to sort of buff out the edges if possible. I'm glad that this palette has that shade in there. It's almost like a nothing shade, but it definitely helps when you're trying to, if you're not good at blending out, um, then just putting a lighter shade over the colour that you've put there is your best bet, so. I like it anyway. Right. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I want to put anything on my inner corner. I do want to run um, some colour underneath my eyes, not much. So, I'm going to take that same um, clubhouse shade. Don't mind me, I'm just knocking everything over. And I'm just going to run that underneath. It'll probably make me look like I've been punched in the face, but we'll make it work. Yeah, I like that. I might even put some um, brown liner underneath and... Uh, Smudge it in. There we go. All right, moving on. Yeah, I'm going to take my brown liner. I've got this Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. I don't normally like waterproof makeup, but this one was um, recommended by... I don't know if it was Kat or Haley, but it was one of those girls from the Beauty News. And so I picked it up. It's a retractable one. And I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to run it. Um, not on my waterline, just like where my lash line is. I'm actually going to need this mirror here. Just take it a little bit slow. Just to get a little bit of definition. Because I'm going to put either a white or a cream. Um, eyeliner in the waterline, just, you know, make it pop just a little bit. Alright, might look a little bit funky, but I'm going to smudge it. So, it has on the end a little smudging. So, just going to gently smudge this a little bit. Nothing too fancy, just to soften it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. That will do. And do the other side. Please excuse me. Alright. Okie dokie. And then we're going to go in. I have these two liners from models prefer guys if you've not tried a liner from models prefer you need to get yourself down to a drugstore or chemist whatever you call it and pick yourself up some i was on a quest to try and find a really good brown eyeliner and um i went down i pretty much brought every rimmel eyeliner that they had um in brown um and it's i don't mind them like i don't mind them but it just it wasn't as creamy as I wanted, and, and, I, and I want creamy, but I also want it to stay put. And um, the Australis one that I brought was creamy, but pretty much came off my waterline within an hour. Um, these ones, including the other one which I tried, and I can't remember what it's called now. If I can remember, I'll put it on the um, screen. But 
it was really hard to put on like it hurt kind it was really scratchy to put on so although I do like um, these uh, Rimmel liners I actually like them for defining the eye where the lash line is and not actually for the waterline so anyway I decided I wanted to try and find a white one um, or a cream one and I came across these models prefer ones actually recommended to me by a lovely lady in Priceline and um, I first picked up this one here and I thought oh yeah I, I drew a line on my hand it was definitely white I mean I'll, I'll show you so she's definitely white and I thought I'll just leave it there while I go and have a look it was definitely creamy I thought oof it looks too creamy, right? So anyway, I went around and I swatched some lipsticks and I had a look at some other stuff, picked up a couple of face masks, and then I decided to go and rub it. She wasn't coming off. And I'm, I'm, I was aggressively rubbing this, you know. Once it set down, I was aggressively rubbing this and it wouldn't come off. I'm like, sold. So anyway, I picked up this white one and although I do like this white one, I thought maybe some of my makeup looks, it was... It was a little bit too predominant and then so I thought I'd go back and I got this cream one and this cream one this nudie kind of one is really unique like it's it's a cream don't get me wrong but it kind of sets down with a little bit of a yellowy gold tone I don't know if you can be able to see that but it's got yeah I mean it's champagne that, that's the colour I'm looking for, the, the name of the colour I'm looking for. It's champagne and um, I like it. So <laughs> long story short, this is the colour that we're going with today. So I might actually use this one right here. There we go, nothing too extreme, and here's the lid. I like it. It's not like, like it brightens up the um, waterline, but it's not like, she got white eyeliner on. So I really do enjoy that. We're going to go straight on to um, doing lashes, and I've only got one, I usually only have one mascara going at a time. I do have two, but I don't know what I've done with the other one. My other one is my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but at the moment I'm loving this uh, Essence Lash princess one in the green um look i do like essence they do have a lot of nice things um but i don't normally have really good luck with all of the mascaras that they bang on about about on the internet so um on the internet on youtube so yeah i have tried a lot but i hadn't tried this green one and i picked this green one up and lo and behold i love it so i'm gonna put this one on today guys yeah Please just ignore me for a minute. Ah, I've got to use this one, I'm sorry. I really would love to start playing with lashes, you know, like um, falsies. But I feel like that I'm not going to be very good at it. But I guess you don't know unless you have a go. I've got this one curly eyelash that's not behaving. And I still find it really, really awkward to do my makeup on camera, so. We're just doing our best. If you don't already know, if you make a mess with your mascara, don't try and wipe it off straight away, you'll just smear it. Let it dry and then you can use a cotton stick to sort of flake it away once it's dried. I generally always get mascara on my upper lid or flake something. Like, the mascara doesn't normally flake on me once it's dried, but... I'm clumsy, what can I say? Right, so that's all we're going to do for mascara today and I already know which lipstick I want to wear today so let's grab her out where are you 
I am going to use the Colourpop Lippy Stick in the colour Lumiere. So I think that's the way we say it. Lumiere. I love this colour. It looks um, very mauvey in the tube, pinky mauvey, but I find when it goes down on the lips it looks more purple than anything. Like a really purpley mauve. I don't know. You let me know if I don't know what I'm talking about. I know you will. So anyway, let's get this on. Alright, I love the formula of this lipstick, I love the price of this lipstick, I love the feel of it, I just love everything about it. So it's definitely one of my go-to ones um, and I just want something simple and easy to put on. And the last thing that I'm going to do guys is I'm going to set it with this Maybelline Lasting Fix spray. Now I used to use a black one, they just ripped it off the shelf, how rude, didn't say anything about it, not that I was aware of, and slapped this on here and uh, I'm back on the shelves. And this is definitely a different formula to the one, the black one. Um, I don't like it as much as I liked the black one. I felt like the black one was definitely better for dewy, whereas this says that it's a um, kind of like a, a matte, yeah, it's a matte finish. Makeup setting spray up to 16 hours wear. Um, it does a really good job. It's got a really fine mist on it. I have heard people complain that the mister on this is not really working, so I've not had a problem with mine and I've used it regularly, so um, mine's good for the moment, but it does really have a micro mist on it when it is working, so... Um, I have heard one YouTuber say that once she took it out of this bottle and she put it in another bottle, it worked a lot like the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I've never used that, so I can't tell you whether it's like that or not, but I definitely love it. So I'm going to use this right now, guys. I mean, it almost doesn't feel like anything, you know. Sorry, I was just getting my face in the mist. doesn't feel like you're spraying anything on, so... much it for the makeup. Um, that was just me doing my makeup. I've got a lot of other things that I'd really love to talk about and that's why I wanted to do my makeup today guys because I've got a lot of videos that I need to get done. Um, I've got a very short space of time where I can actually do it. This video is probably gonna be still like half an hour to 45 minutes long. I apologize but if you've got nothing to do in the meantime you know and you just want to kick around I guess these videos are all right. Every product that I've used I do believe is still available in store right now. Um, which is one of the main reasons why I thought that this video was still okay. So as I'm recording this, every product I can still purchase right now. So um, if you like what you saw, go ahead, feel free, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It'll help me out a lot. If you're not part of the family, go ahead, hit that subscribe button if that's what you want to do. But don't forget to check the bell because that will notify you of every time that I upload, which I do try and get at least one or two videos up a fortnight. I want to do a hell of a lot more, guys. But I hope that you guys did enjoy and um, that you'll stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.